Earlier we were showing an alert dialog when we were receiving an error state. In this video, we are going to process this state. For this, we are going to take help of block selector. This widget takes three generic types. First is going to be the block from which you are going to get states which need to be processed. Second is going to be the type of the states this block emits. Third one is going to be the type of the process states. Also, we need to pass a selector property. To the selector property, we need to pass a callback. And this callback will give you the state which this block emits. Inside this callback, we can do all the state transformations and filtering. Earlier, we were showing an alert dialog when we received an error state, right? Now we are going to transform the state into the initial state. We need to first check the state emitted by the block is error. For this, we can use the same code here and also inside here we need to rename it to the state and here when the state is error state we are going to return initial state so let me copy it from here if the state is not error state then we are going to return the state which we have received from the block also we can remove these let me refresh so let me also add a debug print statement here so you can see this is getting called error state okay now we got a error state so it's still showing the please press the button to generate a random number because we are transforming our error generating number state into the number generator initial state right so let me press this button again so now we got the number successfully generated state that's why we are not getting any prompt here this is all about block selector. If you want to learn more about block and flutter advance, you can subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.